talk more about what they would like to see. How about that right there? Christine <laughs> Sinclair getting ready to come in. The all-time international leading goal scorer, Canadian captain, longtime Portland Thorn. That was important substitutions coming for Portland. The crowd has gotten a whiff of it. Christine Sinclair of Canada ready to check in. I'm Christine Sinclair, professional soccer player for the Portland Thorns and member of Team Canada's women's national team. I come from an athletic family, a sporting family, uh, one that when you're four or five, you get signed up for all different sports. So I played growing up soccer, baseball, basketball, volleyball, ran track, you name it, I did it. I think growing up, I was always like a gifted soccer player, I'd say, but I also spent a lot of time with the soccer ball in my backyard with my brother at his practices. That's just what we did. And for me, it was the 99 World Cup um, that kind of changed things for me. I was able to come down here to Portland and watch a couple of the games as a, as a teenager. And that was the first time for me where I sort of saw women doing what I wanted to do. And I was determined to play in the next World Cup. And that, yeah, that watching that tournament live really changed things for me. This team is very special. I mean, I've grown up on this team with some of my best friends and we've been through all the highs in the world and all the lows in the world that you can experience on a soccer team together. The one thing that sets this team apart from any team that I've ever been a part of or ever seen is like our connection. And it's always been our X factor. We pride ourselves on how we conduct ourselves and the way we try to play. Uh, we, we respect each other, we respect our opponents, and like we finally won the big one. I mean, just standing on the top of the podium listening to Canada, it's something that I honestly never thought I'd see in my career. And yeah, it's just obviously a moment I'll never forget. I weirdly still love the, the training part, the working hard, the getting up every morning and, and grinding. I love the uniqueness of soccer, like 11 different players focusing on one common goal. And I love trying to like analyze how you can get the most out of each other and try to exploit weaknesses of your opponents. I mean, it fascinates me. And then obviously I just love competing and winning. <laughs> but I just love the sport It's yeah, I still feel like a little kid out there. Still don't think I've worked a day, a real, a real job in my life, which is nice. Um, I get to play sport for a living, which is pretty cool. when I was growing up, especially in Canada, there weren't female athletes, female soccer players to look up to. It's, it's amazing to have been a part of that change and to now have youngsters in the stands, like dreaming of one day playing for the Thorns or playing for Team Canada. We're all in for, um, because we, yeah, we want to inspire the next generation, whether it's here in Portland, whether it's in Canada, and just continue to, to grow the game as best we can. For the youngsters, I just say like dream, dream big, dream those crazy dreams. Um, but those are worthless if you're not willing to put in the work. Um, yeah, I think myself, my teammates, whether like I said, here in Portland or up in Canada, like we all had that dream as a kid and we put in the work and we're proof that sometimes those dreams do come true. I hope I'm someone that like when I'm done playing, people look back and say like, there's someone that did it the right way. I try to play the game with respect. Um, I try to hold myself to a high standard with like the fans and the young the young kids in the stands. Like that's why we play. It's it's for them. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just like a good person, a good Canadian that worked hard, showed up for work every day, grinded it out, and in the end had results because of that. <laughs>